Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. I do post new videos every single day. Alright, so in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if this person ghosted you, left you without any sort of explanation, then this reading is going to be for you. Alright, um, we are going to take a look into this person's thoughts, feelings, how they are seeing you right now, their true intentions and... their possible actions. All right, Sagittarius, please, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, please, Sagittarius. All right. This person is a bit scattered. You could be a bit scattered as well. I could be picking up on your energy as well. Okay, the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. of sorts the hanged man So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. Ace of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, The Lovers, Bunch of Cards. Okay. Temperance, your energy, two of cups. Okay, so we have the lovers and the two of cups. Ten of swords. So 
seven of wands six of pentacles all right what are the deck we have eight of swords death magician so you could be dealing with the gemini virgo scorpio another sagittarius When it comes to this person's thoughts, they are in a lot of uh, mental turmoil. The Five of Swords normally can talk about this very manipulative energy. And we do have the both the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. Both are very manipulative energy. Also, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, we do have the um, Two of Swords in the mix. The Two of Swords is not unable to take any decision, unable uh, to make any forward movement. Someone feeling like they are at a crossroad. They can't see things clearly. They have a blindfold on. Also, the two of swords, that energy of someone not paying attention or listening to their intuition. It's almost like purposely rejecting what the intuition is telling them. That is the two of swords energy. So this person, uh, more than that manipulative energy in this deck, in this particular deck, the five of seeds, swords, sorry, the five of swords seems like someone who's very, very frustrated. I mean, look at that image. Right? He looks frustrated. He he's possibly also overthinking a lot, right? Like they're tired of their own thoughts. Yeah, this person um. Their mind is playing games with them. And that is why the two of swords energy I got. Like someone who is not ready to take that decision. Someone who can't take that decision more like. Because they are ignoring the intuition. Most of the times when we overthink it's because we are ignoring our intuition. Our intuition always knows the way. But when our ego self overrides the intuition. That's when we overthink everything. With the hand man here, this person is suddenly trying to find that clarity. The hand man is seeing things from a different perspective. And this person is realizing that they need to see things from a different perspective. Also, star and the hand man are very, very spiritual cards to me as a reader. And that's why the five of swords in between is in between. And on one side, we have the star. The other side, we have the hand man. That's why it makes, like, I feel this person there's some divine guidance they are receiving like they are being pushed by their intuition to see things clearly to perceive things clearly to understand but it's almost like this person could be a bit of a stubbornness this person has or because they are a very manipulative kind of person this person just um doesn't listen to their intuition Although we don't have, well, we do have the four of pentacles just below the five of swords. And the four of pentacles totally talks about that stubbornness, that ego, pride kind of energy. Also, I cut the deck and we have the devil here. So, yeah, this is this tendency of this person to be stuck in a place, stuck in a rut. That's what I heard. Heard. Stuck in a rut instead of making that decision. Clarify 
either five of swords also um this person as i said at the beginning of the reading they are all um uh, i said um uh, i guess i said this person is distracted scattered that's the word i used so yeah there's this energy of this person feeling very scattered very distracted very oh, like all over the place there's something about this person it's very fidgety kind of energy i'm getting from this person because i'm being very fidgety right now and this is this person's energy and that's what the five of swords feels like here someone who is i don't know i got the word annoyed this person is annoyed I got that five of swords, please. Yeah, they have, this is, again, the star, the fool, the hanged man. All of this is very divine energy. Look at that, emperor. Strong, strong Aries energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the star again. Aquarius energy. The fool and the Aries, sorry, not Aries. The fool and the emperor, both are uh, very strong Mars energy, very strong masculine energy. The fool is knowing when to take that leap of faith. The fool, although the card says fool, it's not exactly fool. The fool knows about divine timing. This person knows they have to take some action. They know they have to take that leap of faith. They can't just keep stalling forever and hope and expect that things, things are going to heal because the star is there. So this person is hoping that things are going to work out fine between the both of you, like in the future. But if they don't make any move, if they don't take that leap of faith, the emperor is the master manifester, 1212. So the emperor makes, strategizes or makes plans and then goes after that. The emperor also knows about divine timing, when to take that action. So this person is feeling that urge, that need, that desire, that push from the universe, from their intuition, from their higher self to make that move, to make that leap of faith, to take an effing decision and do something. Now I'm hearing a lot of swearing words. I, I don't know if it could be your energy, could be this person's energy, whatever. Like it's a very frustrating energy. They know they have to make a decision, but they are just... Also look at that, star, hanged man, fool, emperor. I tried to clarify the five of swords and the fool and the emperor came out. We already have two major arcanas here. And then we have two major arcanas clarifying that five of swords. This is majors. This person needs to make a decision. It's like the universe will push them off the cliff if they don't already make a decision. That's the energy I'm getting. Now, uh, when it comes to this person's feelings, they have a lot of desire for you. Ace of Wands is a very, a lot of desire because Ace of Wands, we all know what the Ace of Wands is, right? And the, especially in this deck, of course, it's different. And especially in this deck, more than desire, it feels like someone seeing dreams. That's what I'm getting from this card. This person is seeing dreams of you. They are just not seeing dreams of you. They're dreaming of this new beginning with you. It's almost like they can't help it. They're dreaming of that new beginning with you. But here's the thing. Ace of Wands is dreaming of that new beginning. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, which is again, holding back, being stubborn, listening to the ego and pride. With the page of wands here, yes, this person is definitely like, they want to communicate. But then again, we have the ace of wands and the page of wands. So it is more like that flirty kind of communication. This person just wants to flirt with you. They want that um, fiery kind of energy. Like, they basically want to have fun with you. They want to flirt with you. Page of wands, ace of wands. They want that fiery energy back. They want to communicate, they want to talk, they want to flirt, they want to have fun with you. 
because just be below the page of wands we have the lovers here lovers is a very strong connection and in this deck um in the traditional right away the lovers look very different but here it does look like this two of cups energy and we do have the two of cups right in your energy we do have the two of cups so this is a very strong soulmate connection and yes this person is feeling that connection that is why they want to communicate with you they want to talk to you their heart desires you their heart wants to talk to you their heart wants a new beginning with you but at the same time with the four of pentacles is here it's very possible this person is also scared of being vulnerable 1551 which is a mirror number so this person is scared of being vulnerable they're scared of opening up they're scared of reaching out to you they're scared of giving their heart to someone although they want to because we have the six of wands just below that four of pentacles right so it's very frustrating for this person to hold back from communicating with you to hold back from giving to this connection it is very frustrating for them but yeah there's four of pentacles is literally in the middle of this reading here right so yes this person is stubborn they're afraid they're very scared this person is scared I'm going to clarify the seven of swords as well. The seven of cups wanted to come out, uh, so. Hmm. We have six, six here, by the way. Six, 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 right? Six of wands, the lovers is card number six and six of pentacles. So six, 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 you could be seeing a lot of sixes, a lot of sevens as well because seven of swords, seven of wands and the seven of cups also wanted like almost popped. So yes, seven, 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 six, six, six. Um, bottom of the deck, we have eight of wands here, which talks about communication and the king of wands. Well, the page of wands, king of wands, ace of wands, you could have been like dealing with a player, like this person was this player kind of energy. Or if not a player, uh, someone who wasn't ready to settle down, someone who wasn't ready to, for commitment, like they weren't ready for that. They, the King of Wands can be the smooth player almost. Like someone who is, who has been playing this game for a while, who has learned the art of being a player. All right, let's see. So with the seven of swords, the seven of cups wanted to come out and the seven of cups is confusion. This person is confused. Look at that, the devil and the judgment. Both major arcanas. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. But yeah, this person wants that new beginning with you. Judgment talks about second chances. Judgment talks about reunion. So yeah, they want reunion with you. They want another chance with you. But with the devil here, here's the thing. This person is stuck in their ways. Because as I said, in the past, this person could have been sneaky. You could have been dealing with a player kind of energy. Someone who wasn't ready to settle down. Someone who was very manipulative. They played with their words. They were sneaky behind your back. They followed their wants. I mean, we do have the Ace of Wands and Seven of Swords. So it's very possible this was the kind of person who just went where the wand took them. Right? So it's this person wants this new beginning, but they are stuck in their old ways. The Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords. These are old ways, old patterns this person is stuck in. Overthinking, not knowing how to make the decision. This person even could purposely be not making the decision because they're afraid of choosing something. They're afraid of being vulnerable. So they want this second chance with you. They want reunion with you. But at the same time, they are, they are stuck in their ways. They are not being able to get rid of this devil energy. And this devil energy could be anything. Being the player kind of energy, being non-committal, being scared of vulnerable, being scared of opening up, being manipulative. So look at that. I just clarified two cards here, five of swords and seven of swords and both like four major arcanas here. It's almost like this universe is literally telling this person 
okay the word i heard i cannot say that here but they are telling um this person to just make a decision take a decision do something the universe is pushing them because they want victory with you right judgment and six of wands they want you back they want it, your attention they want to feel victorious they want this connection the lovers and the six of wands they want you they want to revive this connection all right how this person sees you is the they see you in their energy the temperance is your energy right sagittarius so they see you in your element someone who is um content that's the first word i got content i wanted to say someone who is very very balanced but instead i said someone who's content so they see you balanced they see you content they, they see you protected and doing well and all of that thing with the two of cups here they definitely see you as a soulmate yeah you you are the soulmate you are the one that made their heart skip a beat you're the one for them but at the same time the ten of swords uh, in the traditional right away the ten of swords looks a very very painful card right someone who is like lying down all bleeding and everything and has ten swords stabbed behind them the ten of swords whereas in this deck feels like a very different kind of energy because this seems like someone who is letting go right someone who's walking away someone who's letting things go someone who has already turned their back and looking towards the horizon this feels like more like that eight of cups energy rather than the ten of swords energy so what i'm seeing is this person sees you as someone who has turned their like you are facing you what you have turned their back when it comes to them 20 to 22 um you have turned your back you are not focused on them you are letting go you are looking at the horizon it's this energy of someone although it was very painful ending although it was very hard for you to let this person go you are still doing it there's also this energy of choosing yourself because as i said the eight of cups energy right the eight of cups is that energy of choosing oneself choosing the ninth cup and letting go of those eight cups letting go of the past so they see you as someone like they are they are your past and you are letting them go tower look at the major arcanas again i took out four five cards from here from this deck the rider weight deck and all five of them are major arcanas but on the deck we have lovers again whatever stubbornness this person is doing whatever whatever reason they are holding back what i mean the stubbornness right as i said this person is holding back out of stubbornness ego pride they can't let go of that devil energy whatever this energy is because of which this person this person also could have blocked you or you could have blocked them you both could have blocked each other look at that justice again at the bottom of the deck another major arcana you could be dealing with the libra so yeah whatever the reason whatever the reason is this person is holding back from you just stubbornness ego pride not being able to let go of the devil energy the universe will force this person to act 
universe will bring tower moments in this person's life tower moments can also talk about um karma and especially considering we do have justice at the bottom of the deck justice and tower this person is going to receive some sort of sudden karma which is literally going to force them to make certain decisions in their life If this person was giving to another person with a six of pentacles there, uh, they will be forced to make a choice. They will be forced to make a decision. They will be forced to cut the connection, the relationship that isn't serving them anymore. They will be left with no choice. And look at that. Below the justice, we have the page of cups, the only major arcana that came out here, which talks about apology which talks about an offer, which talks about communication. We did have the page of wands in their heart and now we have the page of cups as their actions. I definitely get like one of you has blocked the other person really i definitely get that energy also we have the five of wands here and the knight of pentacles this person is also afraid of the drama like if they approach you um sagittarius can be a little fiery with the tongue um, you are a fire sign after all, so why not? So this person is scared that you are, you're not going to be easy to deal with. You're not going to make them easy to come back in your life. You're going to make it difficult for them. Also, this person is a bit in a conflict because they feel you are moving on. If you have blocked them, they feel like you've already moved on or you are currently moving on and healing. So they are a bit conflicted. Should they come towards you or try to make a move, try to convince you to give them another chance or should they just move on? This person is very stuck in their ways, even though they have the desire, they're extremely stuck in their ways. Look at that card coming out. I have inner childhood wounds. The devil can talk about toxic connections, toxic relationships, toxic childhood, toxic past. So yeah. It's possible that because this person has childhood wounds, some issues in the childhood, um, because of which it's difficult for them to be vulnerable. I did say this person has stubbornness and it's very difficult for them to open up, be vulnerable towards you. And that could be one of the reasons because they have childhood issues here. Look at that bottom of the deck, I stalk you. I'm waiting for you. They could be simply waiting for you to unblock them. Like it would be a sign for them that you are you are still interested because this person strongly feels like you're letting them go and moving on. So if you have blocked them, this person is taking that as a sign that you are completely done with them. You want nothing to do with them. There's definitely some cowardice energy from this person, unfortunately. Yeah, it's still not over, boo. They don't think this is over. They don't consider it to be over. But honestly, they need to make some action. Take some action, sorry. As I was saying, this is cowardice energy here. I show off on social media for you. This person is trying to get your attention. 
not that i have i'm sorry i'm secretly obsessed with you and i really haven't been happy without you I have a lot of secrets i'm hoping you won't find them out i'm sorry for ghosting you i wanted to see if the grass was greener yeah as i said if this person was giving to two people if there was a third party situation um this person could have been trying to see if the grass was greener if they will find someone better than you, if they can, this person might have also thought that they would be able to replace you. And now they're frustrated because they can't. I'm still in pain. So yeah, they are hurting. You are so intoxicating. That is that King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands kind of energy. Sometimes I just imagine your face on other people. You make me feel happy, protected, and comfortable. I'm scared you are going to reject me if I tell you what I feel here. This is that energy of this person being scared of being vulnerable, of opening up, of letting you in. All right. Well, that's your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.